ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by modern warfare weapons right now are in one of the more competitive states they've ever been in in warzone so today i wanted to break down the top five best mw guns at the moment as we do get into them here we're starting first with the ram just want to remind you guys that right now my g fuel discount code immortal is boosted to get you 30 percent off your entire order since my birthday was this weekend they decided to pop that up give you guys that extra discount so if you're looking to grab a new tub a starter pack a shaker cup whatever the case may be code immortal at checkout gets you that extra discount but yes the ram here is what i have coming in at number five Truthfully, this has one of the best TTKs out of all the MW guns in the game over that medium and long range area. The problem that I think holds it back just to that number five spot is its damage per mag. We are limited, of course, to that 50 round mags, which of course we have to use. And with the fire rate here, you do run out of ammo relatively quickly. So I think this is prime for mainly Rebirth and Fortune's Keep. You can use this on Caldera, but over range with that damage per mag, you might find some, uh, some issues here and there with keeping up with squad fights. But overall, for an MW gun, limited to just five attachments the ram is a very very good choice so we also of course have monolithic suppressor on here we got the ranger barrel this will be the largest barrel for the best range velocity and control in this case i go for the vok three times optic you guys know the drill we gotta go ahead throw in that spicy t-pose reticle then i also got the commando foregrip on here to help out with some of that recoil as well it's a relatively basic pattern you do have to get used to it but after that you're good to go uh overall the ram still a very very strong choice now at number four i've got the pkm and again and if you're just looking at pure TTK, you might say this is number two, number one in the game for MW guns because over range, I mean, the PKM from Verdansk day one to Caldera now, two years later, uh, this thing still is one of the best TTK guns in the entire game. Like over range, it just, it brings the power, right? The reason that I have this in number four and not three, two, one is because obviously this is an LMG, so it is a lot slower. So it is way less aggressive than the options that are going to be besting this in my opinion but when it comes to a weapon that is fun to use will absolutely melt players when you're landing your shots you don't have to look much further than the pkm here so first up we again of course have monolithic suppressor we're going for the extended barrel in this case which is the largest barrel again best range velocity and control we've got the snatch grip which you really don't see on any other weapons better control and a better ads which is like two pros you love to see out of any attachment you don't need an extended mag here you don't necessarily need a rear grip either of course we do need an optic once again vok three times optic with that t-pose reticle then frankly i like to use the tack laser on here it gives you a better ads Yes, helps out with the sway a little bit over long range, makes it a tad bit more aggressive because really the more aggressive you can make the PKM while maintaining good control, uh, the better it's going to be in terms of a true meta weapon, if you will. Now at number three, I've got the M4A1. Real quick before we break down the attachments here, just a reminder, if you guys are new to the channel, every single day, I got you covered with literally everything going on in COD. News, updates, loadouts, tips, you name it, you're going to find it right here. So feel free to subscribe as we are on the road to 1 million subs. And of course, if you enjoy this video or if you find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. But the M4 here, again, a weapon that really since day one has been able to compete. Its TTK is very similar to a lot of other main rifles here. The STG, the Automaton, uh, other MW and Cold War guns, even the Vargo, the XM4. It's right there with them. Has decent damage per mag, very minimal control. So you're checking off a lot of the right boxes with the M4 here. And frankly, if you could throw on, you know, fully loaded, maybe a couple of extra attachments for movement or control like you could on a, on a Vanguard gun, you might be looking at something that is a top two, top three rifle in the entire game, not just necessarily MW. But here we are again, surprise, surprise, going for the monolithic suppressor. I got the M16 barrel, best range velocity control yet again, the VOK three times optic again, and we got the uh, T-Pose reticle there. We got the commando foregrip, and I go for these 60 round mags. There's a very minimal movement penalty between 50 and 60. You might as well go for the larger mag here so you don't have to reload as often. Pretty standard setup for the M4 here, uh, but it's still holding its own here this much later after Warzone's launch. Now, my number two, I've got one of my all-time favorite weapons here in Warzone history, honestly, the Bruin. If you remember back on Verdansk, at one point we had the Bruin meta and this thing was spicy. Now, of course, fast forward to present day, it's not nearly as strong as it was back during the Bruin meta days on Verdansk, but uh, it still is very powerful. One of the best TTKs over range yet again, just like the PKM. The only thing is here, this is a lot more aggressive. Even though we're gonna build it mainly as an LMG here rather than the hybrid, uh, it can still absolutely be used as that main aggressive primary like you would a normal rifle in this case. So 
it's still surprising to me how good the Bruin is. Kind of slept on nowadays, I won't lie. This thing is still hitting. So we got the monolithic suppressor. We've got the summit barrel here, which again, largest barrel in this case. So of course we want to go for that. Usually you'd go for something like the 60 round mags to make it more of a hybrid build to make it a bit more aggressive. But honestly, I don't feel like you absolutely need this. You certainly could run the 60 round mags if you wanted to. There's nothing wrong with that. I just think uh, because you don't really see a difference in the TTK between 60 and the stock 100 we have here, we might as well kit it out to be a little bit easier in general. So we got VOK three times optic. I feel like I have to do it. You got to put the T-Pose reticle on there. We got the commando foregrip. And then again, I like to go for the TAC laser here. You sort of get the best of both worlds with TAC laser and commando. Good control, but a good ADS speed as well. That said, if you wanted to use the 60 round mags, I just probably drop the TAC laser. Uh, that way you have a very basic rifle setup similar to like the m4 or uh the ram in this case so this would work as well i don't feel like it's super necessary though my preferred build at the moment consists of this where you have low recoil and like i said a phenomenal damage over range and then at number one we've got the goat in warzone history the greatest weapon of all time in my opinion the growl 556 obviously with some of the recent changes to it it has sort of risen in popularity a decent amount and frankly when you compare the stats the grau is perfectly capable of holding its own versus other mw guns where it slightly bests things like the m4 and the ram and whatnot it can compete versus cold war guns like the vargo and the xm4 it can even hold its own against some of the top rifles from vanguard in the stg and the automaton the bar the nz i mean the thing has just got it going on again it is limited by having five attachments you could add on seven or eight and you'd probably have the best rifle in the game completely no questions asked but for what this is and what you can get out of it it absolutely in my opinion is the best modern warfare weapon so we got the monolithic suppressor i would love to just use the basic archangel barrel here throw on the tac laser throw on the commando foregrip throw on the 60 round mags because here you get to use the greatest iron sights in all of warzone with the archangel barrel and frankly for rebirth and for fortunes keep this is a setup that is absolutely perfect you have plenty of visibility for those medium range fights you often find yourself in on those maps for caldera though Though, you probably do need to end up running something uh, for your optic here. So unfortunately, you probably have to drop the tack laser and throw on the VOK three times optic yet again. And for the barrel in this case, Archangel, it does work just fine. But that said, you could also use something like the CZN here, the MK2 for the better range, the better velocity. Nexus would also work well here, uh, but just because you don't necessarily need the slowdown of the Archangel because you're using this obviously for the better range velocity and control but also the iron sights when you uh change those out for a vok three times optic you lose one of the pros here and the cons on the season or the nexus are not nearly as bad so like this is a perfectly viable setup as well any of these three barrels you could swap here and you'd have a really really good setup but that being said those are currently the top five best mw guns in warzone that's gonna wrap things up for this one if you enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it would be seriously appreciated and if you're new here feel free to hit that sub button turn on those post noties that way every single day you'll always know whenever i post a new video and you can stay up to date with everything going on in cod but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.